Hi everyone, today I'm doing a raw broccoli salad with a raw pesto. And raw broccoli might sound a little bit strange, but we're going to chop it up really finely and also let it marinate in the pesto for an hour in the fridge. So it gets a little bit softer and it won't taste hard or anything or strange. It's actually, yeah, at the moment it's probably my favorite salad. And I'm starving because this is my lunch and it's already almost two o'clock, so <laughs> let's get to it. Uh, on top of this salad, we're also going to have some pomegranate. Um, so the first thing we will do is to make the pesto. I'm using sunflower seeds in my raw pesto. A lot of raw recipes have cashew nuts in it, but I believe that sunflower seeds is the healthier option there. So that's what I'm using. So I'll put half a cup of uh, sunflower seeds in a bowl. You also need half a cup of olive oil, a bunch of basil, and juice from one lemon, and some salt and pepper. And now we're going to mix this. Here's the super green pesto. Nice. I'm going to have a little bit more salt in there. When you're done with the pesto, just put it aside for a while and we're going to do actual salad. So first the broccoli. And broccoli can have a cholesterol lowering effects. And they're also really good for helping the body detox itself. They are a cruciferous vegetable and all cruciferous vegetables are really good with that. So good to eat every day. It also contains loads of vitamin K, vitamin C, folate, just to mention a few. So really good. We're going to chop that up. We're also going to use a little bit of um, kale, not too much, just so you get a little bit of leaves inside there. And on top of it all, we're going to have some pomegranate seeds. We're not using the stem, just the florets, but don't throw away the stem. You can use that in a juice or smoothies or casserole or anything like that. So we're cutting the florets up quite thinly. And then you put everything in a bowl. And then you take all the pesto, put that in. Oh, this looks great. It's very green. And then just mix it up. And then we put this in the fridge for an hour. While we wait, we're going to cut up the onion. You need about one to two tablespoons of fairly finely chopped red onion. We're also going to chop up a little bit of kale. And make sure you don't get any of the stems because they are just way too hard. So the broccoli and pesto have been in the fridge for an hour and now I'm going to add the kale. And I think so sort of this amount of chopped up kale is enough to start like that and then mix it up. Because you know kale, it will get much smaller as you mix it in. Now what I normally do is I do this by hand. Because then you can mix the kale leaves much better. Because they need the olive oil and the lemon, the onion. One to two tablespoons. So now I'm going to plate it up. And on top of this salad, I'm going to put pomegranate seeds, which are chock-a-block with antioxidants. And antioxidants can help minimize the effects of free radicals. So really important and, and really, really good for us. So here it is, my raw broccoli salad with raw pesto and pomegranate seeds on top. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week.